Hello. Hey, I'm on your Zoom. Where are you? I am on here. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on a second. Oh, I see you. Sorry, I was out of, I was doing something. I clicked out for a second. I'm, we're not live, right? Because I'm putting no. my concealer on. No, no, no. I still, Jay, can you get my ring light? And my hair still like naked. <laughs> Can you hear, can you hear me? Should I use, wait, uh, Mac? Yes. No, I want my uh, Bluetooth. I don't know why I got out of my AirPods. Oh, there they are. Oh my God, sorry, I can hear you two times. Hold on. How's oh. my background? Let me fix mine because mine's a hot mess right now. Hey, I like your background. Thanks. It's for the kids. <laughs> it's for the kids. That I wait. Okay. I, I can't I deleted your can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Let me close this. Okay. Hold on. I'm still putting on makeup. <laughs> I don't have any makeup on. See this? <laughs> Ooh, the light is good. Yeah, it's the ring light. Yeah, I'm actually using my ring light. I use this for teaching though. I can't believe you never use it. I only use it for teaching here. You know what I mean? Ooh. That means to start. Okay, so it's 6.30. Let's go on Clubhouse. Okay. Let's go, get on. Hold on, hold on. Let me just put, okay. I'm gonna have to lower down my ring light, so. Start the room. Okay, you start in the room? Yes. How do I join in? Uh, I'm adding you. Ping this message. Do you see me pinging you? No. Oh, Grobin's in here. Hey, Grobin. We're still trying to uh, ping people in here just to make sure we're live and things and see if we can get people on. Where, did you ping me? Yes, but I will share it with you just in case. Maybe you can try that. I'm trying to get Lorena on, Robin, hold tight. Right, still me with this, so thank you. Oh, there. Here. Yay, there she is. I'm in. Okay, so I'm gonna just, that's the thing about these lives. And I have to turn down the volume on the actual clubhouse, right? <laughs> can you start in, Lorena? I'm going to use my AirPods for my phone <laughs> for you guys. Okay, I need to do that too. So let's do that. Another piece here. Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to the room. Start 
We have some great questions for you guys, so stay tuned. Grab your favorite cup of tea or coffee, whatever you're drinking. <laughs> and Sorry, enjoy. Turn down the, the volume on the other thing. That's the only thing here. And we are going to go. All right. Everybody? We are ready. We may get some feedback on the computer here. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit so it's not so loud. All right. Hopefully, you all can still hear. Okay. We are almost ready. And just waiting for things to load up. So we are going live on, <laughs> we're trying this out guys, we'll see what happens. Uh, Facebook, so you can actually see our faces for a little bit. Don't worry, we will not have your voice on Facebook, I promise. I know this is a safe space. So um, for our Q&A today, we're going to make sure we're off of Facebook and we're gonna make sure that that happens. Um, but we do want to be able to share this with our community here. So here you go. I'm going to go ahead and share with Lorena. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That, and we will start. All right. Are we ready? Okay. How you feel, Lorena? I'm feeling great. You know, it's it's exciting to be talking about Pilates, and um, in a room full of people that are interested in what it is, um, what made us like Pilates. You know, a, a lot of I have a lot of people asking me what type of exercise is it? You know, it's, it's like lattes. <laughs> so I'm glad that we're doing this talk and that we're coming together and to, you know, let people know what Pilates is about and why we like it. And yeah. Awesome. Yes. Um, yes. So as you know, Pilates here, if you have been um, a practitioner, you know it was started by Joseph Pilates in the 1920s and, um, you know, deals with proper postural alignment, core strength, muscle balance, and things like that. And I know it's hard sometimes to think about clubhouse here when we're thinking about Pilates and, you know, physical movement that you can't see. <laughs> but um, yes, so that's what we're here to talk about. We want to talk about mostly our journeys first um, and why we even started Pilates in the first place. <laughs> so Lorena, you want to go ahead and talk about your journey? Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get more comfortable in my little office chair. <laughs> As you can see, here's my desk behind me. I, um, my Pilates journey. So as some people might know, or they don't know, I'm a professional dancer and loves dance since I was little. And, you know, Pilates is something I never knew what it was. And when you're dancing night after night, like rehearsing in heels, when I was doing a lot of like salsa and Latin ballroom and um, dancing with partners, my knees were just 
getting ruined every single time. And I remember it was, and I was young. I don't remember how old I was, but I remember like, maybe I was like 25, my knees, you know, some, you know, the, the chiropractor and the doctor was like, well, you might need knee surgery. And I was like, oh my God, whenever you hear that as a dancer, as an athlete, you just think of the worst. You're like, am I ever going to dance again? Or am I ever going to move again? So, you know, I went to different doctors and I was like, no, but I, there's no way I need surgery. You know, I can, I can fix this. Um, and one of the doctors was like, you know what, have you tried Pilates? And I was like, Pilates? And he's like, yeah, Pilates. I'm like, okay, let me, what is this Pilates? And I researched it. I found a studio nearby and it was expensive. And I was like, oh my, how am I going to afford this? This is like a private is $150. So I was you know, thinking, I was like, you know what, I'm, I have to do this because I think this can save my knees and I can continue dancing and I don't need surgery. And long story short, that's what I did. And then I ended up falling in love with it and I started getting certified and the rest is history. So that's how much I believe in Pilates and um, it is yoga and workout mixed together. If they were married and they had a baby, it would be Pilates. And that, that's how I see it. And I liked it because it's all the moves that I kind of, all the physical therapists will tell me to do. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do it. But you are doing it in Pilates, having fun. And I always like to put music on in my classes. If you take my class, I like to have fun and make it life and make it uh, enjoyable because sometimes those little slow twitch muscles are the ones that burn <laughs> right Janelle <laughs> yes definitely so, definitely um so yeah that was my journey how I started and why I love it and why I recommend it to anybody at any time any age yeah awesome <laughs> thanks for sharing your story Lorena um yes yeah, so uh, for my journey in Pilates, basically, I had gotten injured um, from a Spartan race. Um, but before that happened, and that was in, I believe, 2016, um, before that, I had obviously been playing around with different modalities of movement, whether that was yoga, piloxing, hiking, all the things. Um, and that's what led me to the Spartan race, right? <laughs> so I did the sprint, but after that really strenuous time, um, I had gone into rehearsals because I was in a dance company called Keshav Haim. Um, if you know about it, uh, it's an Israeli dance company in LA and so we're here, right, in rehearsals, and I was just in so much pain from the Spartan race and lifting rocks. So that happened. <laughs> and then we, we go on tour to Miami and um, do all these tours, um, you know, dancing and do like six full out dances or more. And then I found myself at the back of the stage just rolling my lower back out because that it had been hurting from all the rocks I had lifted and just all the strain that I had put on my body. And so um, I was rolling out my, my back when we got to the back of the stage or basically during the time I was just in between dances and rolling it out, rolling it out on this, the back. And then I would come back on stage smiling and trying to like endure the pain. So um, a lot of instructors I find um, have started Pilates that way, right? And through some kind of pain that they went through pain. or. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. And so that's kind of how my journey started uh, was through that pain. And then um, also being diagnosed with the Graves disease, which is an autoimmune disorder. Um, so if you know about that, obviously um, gluten 
a gluten-free diet is, is best. And also just not so much um, like strain on your body or high impact movement. And yes, Pilates can be high impact, but it is for the most part, it's very low impact. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So there's the jump board and we, we jump lying down, but we're still working the core muscles that we need um, and really addressing the alignment of our bodies there. So that's, that's how I got into it. And I figured, well, hey, if I'm going to be, uh, you know, trying to maintain the body that I want as a dancer, as, you know, um, someone who's into fitness and wants to maintain um, and do low impact exercises, this is the one for me. And um, so that's why I became an, an instructor. Um, I've got certified in Pilates mat and reformer, and I'm still, you know, pretty well versed in all the other apparatuses. Um, you know, some people are like, what? What are you talking about? Um, so there's mat, and then there's the reformer, and then there's the different apparatuses like the Cadillac and the ladder barrel and the chair, and there's all these things, right, that assist um, in a lot of rehab and also just strengthening like your inner core muscles. So um, that's me. And I know Lorena got certified in yoga too, right? Yes, um, I, I, fell in I fell in love with both and I saw a lot of, they're similar and they're alike, but they're different. Right. <laughs> so I really liked um, the combination, so, you know, so people, combine yoga and Pilates so that's you know that's th th that was a, a good mix that sometimes I see people do um welcome to the room we saw somebody else joining us yes hi Lizzie hi Lizzie I see you I know you're here um I was just talking didn't want to <laughs> lose my train of thought but uh Lizzie is amazing um she's our life coach friend and um, fellow dancer. Nice. So welcome. <laughs> a room of course, full of dancers. Yes, <laughs> Grobin's a dancer too. She does salsa and all the ballroom. So welcome dancers. <laughs> so let's talk about the questions. all the benefits, the other questions that we had. So you can go first. Okay. <laughs> so the first question is we have it. We have it right. Oh, there. What is the difference between Pilates and yoga? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I believe that Pilates, like yoga is much older than Pilates. Pilates is a little bit newer than yoga. The difference is they have a lot of uh, similar moves, a lot of moves that, you know, coexist but the breathing is different, right? Uh, in yoga, uh, it's inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Oh wait, yeah, right? Oh no, it's it's through the nose, inhale and exhale. Exhale through the nose. Through the nose, <laughs> yes. I got confused. And then You're Pilates good. is inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So those are two different ways of exercising and two benefits that um, yoga and Pilates have and they are different and um, they do share a lot of stuff you know in the middle but yeah that's how I'll answer it and Janelle do you want to type in that awesome I hope you guys can hear me because my my airpods are a little freaky and it always says poor connection on my phone so oh. Hopefully you all can still hear me. It's, yeah, um, it's in and out a little bit. Okay, great. Awesome, because I, I really, it's, it's kind of funky in my, in my realm. Uh, okay, so question number two that we had, right, was... The breathing. And how is it. breathing different? Yeah, so, okay, so I we'll put just cover what the together. benefits are. Oh, okay, you got it, you got it. Um, so the benefits here. Um, basically, 
your benefits are going to be your alignment of your spine you're going to find your intrinsic muscles right your inner core muscles that you normally don't use because you're not paying attention to them you have to really uh, bring awareness to those muscles because a lot of times we're muscling the movement in other exercises right um, yes. but you're not really thinking about really firing up the muscles that are you're working, you're not really visualizing it. And um, I think a lot of visualization happens in Pilates too. Um, a lot of strength training is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a lot of um, balance as well. Flexibility right. is always good. Um, posture, you can fix your posture. So if you have bad posture, um, which as we all like were, just straighten it up, slumping. like right when you said that, we're like shoulders back rip cage in exactly yeah we're slumping over our all the time yeah our computers we're um, our phones you know at least a lot of us even me yeah our phones our neck um you know so all we're we're all kinds of so yeah i know especially now during covid um so so basically those are the benefits. There's a lot more, usually there's core, there's nine core principles of Pilates, which um, is alignment, flexibility, strength, posture, you know, your breathing, precision, um, coordination is one of them, coordination, um, you know, like patting your head, and rubbing your stomach, something like that, right? You know that we used to do that in school. We're like, hey, can you pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time? Right. It's kind of like that, right? So you're you're moving different parts of your body at the same time. So it works your mind in that sense, right? Um, so that's, that's what Pilates is. And um, Joseph Pilates, he... He was um, not a very uh, healthy child when he was younger, and he, you know, had to come up with something. He was then he became very um, active and was doing boxing and all these things, um, and then he came up with this pulley system for, you know, rehab for military patients and things like that. So and that's, that's why the some reformer. of the beds, yeah, yeah, that's what some of the machines look a little like what is this it looks like a something from from the army you know yeah he basically yeah he basically took like the bed springs you know in the hospital right and he took it out and he attached it to like you know the metal imagine like the metal bed um head headboards and he attached it to that and like would have them exercise with it you know he keeps yep. like that's how the whole uh, reformer Cadillac system kind of happened was he had to kind of come up with something for the, you know, people that were bedridden to move. And that's, that's kind of how that happened. <laughs> so a little bit of history on Joseph Pilates there. Um, Thanks, Janelle. So let's see. The next question yeah. is, <laughs> you can talk about some, Pil yeah, who is Pilates for? Like, Pilates mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. suitable for all. It is an exercise designed to move all major muscles and joints. Um, everybody can do Pilates. Each move in Pilates can be modified to match ability, either increase or de de uh, decrease, the, you know, to challenge yourself. But overall, anybody could do Pilates. And at any age, you can benefit from Pilates. Right, right. Exactly. Um, so can I do Pilates if I'm not fit? That's one of the, the, the questions that we get. You're like, they're like, oh, you know, Pilates is just for dancers, you know. Um, <laughs> and yes, Joseph Pilates did work with a lot of dancers, um, especially in New York, you know, from Broadway Dance Center and things like that um, back in the day. Um, but no, there it, it is not just for dancers or like people that are very fit. So the answer to that is yes, you can do Pilates if you're not fit or whatever you're not fit means. 
because <laughs> you know we all have our idea of what not fit means you know we all have our I feel like we all have our you know our imagined level or a fitness goal or something um maybe you know maybe we say we're not fit but compared to other people we are super fit you know <laughs> so it's everybody's level is different Yes, definitely. Um, so basically, you can bring your awareness again back to your flexibility level. You can work on that with Pilates, you know, and this will help uh, with your strength and your endurance once you start Pilates because you do, it is a progressive exercise, everyone. It's not like one size fits all kind of, I mean, one size fits most. It is a one size fits all thing, right? Um, because it is a progressive exercise. So if you are very advanced, you can start intermediate to advanced, right? Um, if you're super beginner, you can start from the very basics, obviously, um, up into, you know, that advanced level if you wanna get there, right? Um, but there is a progression a natural progression of exercises that happen. You don't just go from zero to 100. So that's what is great about Pilates too, is that, um, you know, there is a progression. There's levels. There's, There's levels. levels. And um, I have a lot of students that even end up loving it. And now they're teaching because they love it so much. Um, okay. Yeah. Question number three that I get all the time, that we get all the time. Can I do Pilates with a medical condition? having a medical condition does not automatically mean you you cannot do pilates best advice is to check in with your doctor and see what you can do and what you cannot do but pilates you know i guess you can talk about it janelle because you know you're coming oh for me to you know the knees or whenever my shoulders are hurting or anything Pilates are great. Pilates is so great that you can, you know, today I can't lift my neck. Everything can be, you know, laying down. You can, you can work something else. Um, today, I don't want to have my hands over my head or I don't want to work my arms. You can work all legs in Pilates machine. There's thousands of different, you know, exercises that you could do with one machine. And there's, and you named like seven machines, right, Janelle? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's so many. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So there's like endless possibilities. Um, you, you know, I'm not getting any money from Pilates. I'm not in a Pilates association. I sound like I'm a fanatic. I'm just saying just because you have a medical condition doesn't mean you cannot do Pilates. Um, you will have to be modified and you have to have um, a doctor tell you what specific things you can do or can do and have an instructor with you because I feel like sometimes when you do Pilates and you just you know if you need somebody to guide you especially if you if you're injured right right especially yeah because you know um you do I feel like um when we're injured especially when we're injured. I know from past experience with my neck, obviously not so past experience, um, <laughs> that I, I do want someone there and that's gonna help me and put their hands on me and kind of like, kind of guide me. I know um, Pilates is hands-on and if you're not, you're not comfortable with hands-on, that's okay because we don't have to, but it is helpful when someone just taps that muscle, this kind of initiates, you know, and kind of brings attention to those parts of our body we're not really thinking about because, you know, there's already so many moving parts, but right. when you have somebody there to kind of guide you and kind of you know, just help, help you along the process um, really helps. And that's, that really helps with uh, injuries, you know, and just kind of really bringing the detailed um, imagery and awareness to your body and the, the specific muscles that you need to strengthen or, or, you know, not uh, strain either, because you, there is that balance, right? <laughs> so, yeah. 
Yeah, um, I agree with you. Yeah. And so question number four, you want to do it? Yeah. Um, so we had another one was, um, can Pilates help my bad back? <laughs> Obviously. Um, it's very cool. Pilates is, yes. So you, you can't really address your back without addressing your core and vice versa, right? Um, if you strengthen your core, you have a stronger back. If you have a stronger back, you know, you can, you can feel more connected to your core at the same time, right? But because your multifidus muscles, if you know, they're, you know, wrapped around, right? It's so when they say core, guys, core does not mean just your abs in the front, right? Your, your a core. Rat, there's side to the, there's ones on the side, up, mm -hmm. upper abs, lower abs, right? Right. Yeah. Your core involves your diaphragm. It even involves so much as your inner thighs, which can help, you know, activate that um, diaphragm and your Kegels, right? Your Kegel muscles are involved there. Uh, your backs and your, your back and your sides, your obliques, your transverse abs, which is like at the front. So all of that, all of that is your core. Yeah, there's- Yeah. So yeah, it so does- So to think answer does the, Yeah. Yeah, to <laughs> answer the question, yes, it can help your bad back or whatever your, your again, your, when you say bad back, that can mean so many things, right? Um, that's when you really want to address, is it the thoracic? Is it the lower back or, you know, and the good thing about Pilates is we, we really look at your pelvis and where it is in space. And, you know, it's not something that you, you go to just Pilates just to relieve one part of your back, right? Um, it can provide relief for all parts of your back all the muscles are working like I said um and again you always consult your provider your always you know, your doctor yeah. for that and and like anything it doesn't sometimes people are like one session and they want to fix everything all the problems in one session it doesn't work that way I wish I could do no. that but then that I'll be out of the job right Janelle and I would not be working it does not, it's right. a lifestyle, it's, um, you get stronger, you get better, and there's another goal, and then another goal, and then another goal. So I can't sit here and tell you one session or five classes will fix your back like that, because, you know, that's not true. You have to work for it and, you know, condition it and little by little and stretch and do, you know, we're going to give you homework and you're going to be doing I feel like my students sometimes are like, but I do your classes and I, and I do some of the stuff that you tell me at my uh, downtime. I'm like, you got to do more, more, right? <laughs> There's always more. <laughs> right. And the good thing, um, yeah, the good thing about um, finding that awareness from Pilates is, you know, you're going to find yourself pulling the abs in while you're hiking, or you're just, you're doing more fundamental movements. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to add my abs right now while I'm sitting down. <laughs> right. So it, when you're in Pilates, that that's what happens is you become so aware of your body that you're like, oh, let me just sit up a little taller in my chair because you have your Pilates teacher's voice in your head saying, hey, sit up well, tall. Pull up, you know, and I feel like um, somebody's pulling you up from the string from your head. Yeah, so all cage. those, <laughs> yeah, all those cues are not meant to demean you or you know to like be like do this, do that, and whip you, and you know, they're meant to to really guide you and um find your best you know spine and you know bring your body back to that alignment again, right? Because that's what we want is alignment, the balance of your body, you know, that's what, what we have, we do in Pilates is we align and, and fix that, uh, the miss. What's, what's the quote here. that, yes. um, Joseph says, uh, the there's so many, <laughs> no, the one, the, the one that, the one that's like healthy spine, something, something. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. We're going to have to get back to that one. Okay. What do you wear 
to Pilates. That's a question I get. I don't understand why, because it's a workout. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna answer it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I knew you Leggings. I have my Pilates socks. <laughs> and what is that? What is Pilates socks? So Pilates socks have these little grips in the bottom. Let me show you. Oh, okay. So little, there's little grips right here. I'm doing on Facebook and you guys can't see me in Clubhouse. But the cool thing about the, the socks is you don't slide on the machine or when you're doing the workout. So they're great to grip the floor. Now, if you don't have the socks, you can always do barefoot, but some, some studios require you to wear the socks. Um, my socks are full, like, but there's some of them that have like um, dividers on the, on the feet. Those are cool too. And they look like a little gloves for your feet. And so yeah, so Pilates socks is a must. Um, and they come in different colors, different designs. Amazon has some great ones. There's different stores that have them. Any workout clothes, anything that you feel comfortable. I like to wear my hair and I don't know, Janelle, if you tell me, I like to wear my hair in a bun up because if I wear it down, and especially if I have long hair, it will get caught in the machine and you don't want a haircut. Yes like that <laughs> so i suggest up in the bun um leggings shirts um you know anything that you feel comfortable um there's so many stuff right now out in all these cool workout gears even janelle has some cool workout gear on her website so go check that out Oh, thanks. Um, thanks for that plug right there. <laughs> yeah, I decided, uh, so, so just so you know, I decided to, I had this great idea. I'm like, oh, I think I want uh, my dog and cat on my workout clothes. And I'm going to call it the Bacon and Eggsy collection because my dog's name is Bacon and my cat's name is Eggsy. So I'm going to call it Bacon and Eggsy collection. So that's what I have on my website. If you want to go there real quick to take a look, it's still... I'm still fixing some things. They're still not perfect, but um, if you're curious to look, you can look right now uh, yeah. on my website, Janelle Cruz Pilates. I'm just thinking while I wear it, I'm going to be thinking of eating bakes, bacon <laughs> and eggs. Like right? I'm going to be working out and being like, I feel the burn because I want some bacon eggs. Yes, because you know, that's your reward. Or veggie bacon. You know, right. like the reward is... I mean, you should always give yourself rewards. It doesn't have to be <laughs> yeah. food. It could be other Isn't things. It? it could be. But maybe, you know, that's a healthy reward. I, I still think bacon's pretty healthy. I don't know about you guys. But I'm, <laughs> you know, if you know Lorena and I, we are foodies. Like, we love food. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do another clubhouse and another interview about what we eat. Oh, later on. Maybe we'll do it next week. Hi, Christine. I see you. Oh, okay. So um, we're finishing up the questions, but ladies, whoever's in here um, in Clubhouse, because we're also doing Facebook Live, we're going to have questions that you guys can ask at the end. Um, so stay tuned. And you won't be on Facebook Live, just FYI. It's just going to be on Clubhouse. Okay, uh, question number six. Number, I think it was... How long before I feel the benefits yes. from Pilates? Oh, here's there the quote. Go. Here's the quote. I got it. it. It came to you. See, it just takes, it says no. It's mile. written on the on, it's written on the thing. <laughs> oh, it says Joseph Pilates. <laughs> Joseph Pilates okay. maintained that in ten sessions you will feel the difference. In twenty sessions you will see the difference, and after thirty sessions you will have a new body, 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 yes, body, body, body here. <laughs> yes. The key here though is consistent sessions, right? This is not like you do one, you know, one month and then the other month and <laughs> or like two weeks. And these are consistent, you know, sessions three times a week or two times a week oh, every day you could do every, every day. day whatever yeah whatever it is um whatever your uh workout schedule is that's 
<laughs> it's consistency, right? That's what we're always looking for or trying to achieve. At least that's what I'm always trying to achieve. If you know me, consistency is a big one. Um, okay, so number we're seven. on number seven. Um, will Pilates help me lose weight? Hmm. There are some people, there's some um, misconceptions I feel about that are mixed, mixed messages about this. Some people say no, and some people say yes. You know what? I, I think it depends. It depends because I feel like, especially jump board. Yeah. And when you've gotten to the cardio, there's no way you're sweating. Uh, your heartbeat is up. You're burning calories. Um, you know, I feel the same way that you do, Janelle. I feel like I say yes, but there is people that are saying no. So yeah, yeah. So and Pilates um, normally, yes, it will strengthen you, right, um, and get you flexible. Um, but for the most part, yeah, Pilates again works your inner core muscles, and yes, the most of the repertoire um of pilates is that right the intrinsic muscles um so you're not gonna see it like you would you know like shedding the pounds right away you know you're not gonna see that so if you want that kind of turnaround you know or you want that kind of result with your you know weight loss to happen a little faster then you got to put in a little bit of you know hit training which is why a lot of people have more um, athletic type of Pilates workouts and, you know, fuse hit workouts together or yoga together on the, on the reformer or on the mat. Um, so yeah, you're definitely gonna get more energy, um, from, and, um, more results from something like that. So if that's what you're looking for, then yeah, then Pilates will, make you lose weight in that sense right but if you're just going and you're you're trying to rehab something obviously you're not going to lose weight or if you you have an injury and you're you want to lose weight at the same time I don't know if that's going to happen right away right to be honest um but you definitely will find your body and you'll know how to hold yourself in balance and have better um functionality so that I think is way more important <laughs> yeah and losing the weight right off uh, right off the bat you know, it's, I feel like sometimes we get so focused on like, sometimes you lose inches. And I, I was talking to this in another, uh, another while uh, yesterday with one of my clients, even I do it to myself. I get on the, on the scale and I'm like, I haven't lost anything, but it's <laughs> not, you know, it's this, it's the inches and this difference that I see in my body more than you know because you know muscle does weigh more than fat and when you weigh yourself every day you might be gaining muscle you know if you're working out right right so don't stress about that i feel like just do pilates try it out you know it's not good to be stressing okay um question number eight what can I expect from a Pilates class? Um, I think you can expect the best work of out your life. <laughs> no, uh, it says uh, you can, okay, so you can expect limited classes are full. The, the, there's a great, feel free to ask questions at any point when you're taking a class or when you're, you know, taking one of our classes um and my goal is to have you finish and finish your class and feeling great like I always like to finish my class with three rollbacks and I always tell my clients I'm like just stand up and stay straight for the rest of the day and go out and conquer your day with your Pilates you know in mind uh so that's, that's how I like to finish it. And I guess what you can expect is just a good workout, right, Janelle? Right, um, that's, that's good. I like how you end that class 
uh, with the three roll downs and rolling up that because that brings that kind of helps stack your spine back and brings awareness to your posture um the way I end class normally is like do you know in a stretch or some kind of you know awareness to your breath again because you know sometimes when we're working out we don't we don't breathe the right way in terms of bringing in more oxygen to the muscles right when we're breathing we're, we're concentrating so much on the exercise and, and especially know, dancers. if we're doing it right dancers um, i've noticed we don't breathe because we've taught to hold our breath and i feel like many of our injuries is because we're not even breathing costume yeah. is too tight or whatever you're doing you're like <gasps> you know you're not breathing. like uh, you know have a ballet class you don't breathe you know you're supposed to be breathing right i i'm a heavy breather <laughs> I, go, I go to ballet and people are staring at me because i'm using my pilates breath in ballet oh and they're just like are she having a baby <laughs> right no really because they, <laughs> they look at me and they're staring like they have gotten stares before for my breathing because i was so loud so um, if any because, dancer in the room, you know, you're not supposed <laughs> to do that in a ballet class. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I don't care because I'm like, I'm giving my body what it needs. And if breathing loud is going to do it, maybe a little bit lighter, because I've gotten the teachers got, got gone to me and she's like, are you OK? And I'm like, yes, I am. I'm just breathing. <laughs> I'm just doing the Pilates breathing. And um, there's a difference. I'm just like, now, yeah. you can say, now you could be like a smart ass and like, excuse my French, and say it. Like there's a difference between Pilates and how and yoga. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So um, anyway, I've gotten that. <laughs> question number, but thanks for sharing, Janelle. Question number, because we could be here all night. But right, I, know I know people, you know, I heard that in Clubhouse, people, there's been a meeting that goes all day. I don't know if no, uh, but yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're not about that life. Let's go to question number nine. Okay, uh, so is Pilates like yoga? Well, we kind of answered this already. We did. Yes um, no, right? Yeah, we did. But like you said about the breath and stuff like that, but we didn't talk about like the actual exercises. So okay. obviously, the similarities here are you know. Um, in yoga, right, we have like cat cow and like things like that with like animals and and that's the same as Joseph Pilates he he you know did these exercises mir you know mirrored from animals like dogs and cats and you know whatever dancers there's there's Eve's lunch that's after right. dancers dancer. yes yeah. so he modeled a lot of the the moves from first dancers. position second position I think even from boxing because he was a he was a boxer yeah. so there is some boxing moves in there um but in yoga obviously you're holding poses right and mm -hmm. you're you're meant to build strength in that way by holding the pose and it's obviously more meditative and you know more spiritual than um pilates is because we don't we don't you know do that <laughs> so much and um what Pilates does is it brings more energy. Like you, when you do hundreds, for example, um, you're you're creating energy, right? Through your breath and your your movement is brisk. Yeah, there's no brisk movements like that in yoga. You know what I mean? Not if you're doing traditional yoga. Maybe if you're doing vinyas, vinyasa. But vinyasa. Vinyasa. Yeah, because oh it's more flow. Yeah, there's more flow. There's a flow to it, but there's but no like, yeah, it's just not the, it's not the same. So a lot of people are like, is it Pilates just like yoga? No, it's not. <laughs> so two different things. Okay, question number 10. Can I do Pilates and continue doing other exercises? Yes, right, you know? Yes, yes, yes. You'll find um, out that Pilates, you know, goes hand in hand with every other exercise that you do any other training that you do and it gets you stronger and it prevents injuries so if you're a runner if you're a boxer if you're a dancer if you're just a hiker if you're a golf you know play golf or if you a you know surfer or rollerblader or whatever you do in your free time 
Pilates is just going to make you stronger, more flexible, and you're free. Well, hopefully. Yeah. hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so it's an overall kind of um, exercise program that you, you know, can, can use in addition to all the things that you do, right? So you're cross training, right? It's important to cross train. So same with Pilates, I do yoga and Pilates and other things, right? Because you want to cross train. Um, I do yoga because again, you're, you're stretching and you're holding poses, right? That's why I do it is I'm holding it longer than I would in Pilates, right? In Pilates, we're not holding so much. We're moving, we're creating energy. We're we're, yeah, we're, we're using the flow and we're, we're really feeling, filling the muscles and really strengthening. Um, so that's, that's why um, I do yoga to counter that, right? That's your cross training. So the two kind of pair together, I think very well. Okay, guys, so I guess now we're open for questions. We're going to say goodbye to the Facebook Live. Yes. Bye, guys. Thank you for listening. Bye, everyone. <laughs> now, okay. and me, Lorena. See you guys next time. Bye.